Watercolor Beach. What is it all about? Well, that's what we're going to talk about today and we're getting started right now. Hi, I'm Debbie Woolley with Woolley Luxury Properties. And on this channel, we talk about everything destined to 30A. So if this is your first time, welcome. Please hit the subscribe button, click the little bell so you'll get notified every time we make another video. Now, watercolor, what is all the buzz about? It is a fantastic resort. It's a 500 acre resort on 30A in Walton County, Florida. Watercolor has just invested a fortune in its amenities, so that is one of the things that makes it so special. It is also on the north side and the south side of 30A. So if you're leaving Grayton Beach, headed east to Seaside, Watercolor will be just in between. So as you leave Grayton, you'll come to Watercolor and then right next door will be Seaside. So that kind of orients you to where it is. Now, Watercolor is, as I said, it's on the north and the south side. On the south side, meaning on the Gulf side, there is the Watercolor Inn, which is 60 rooms. It is a beautiful boutique type hotel or inn. It has two restaurants. It has Foo, which stands for Fish Out of Water, F-O-O-W, Foo. And it also has the Gathering Spot. Both Foo and the Gathering Spot have outdoor spaces so you can see the Gulf. At Fu, they have meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Now, at the gathering spot, they have more casual dining, and on Saturday nights, they have live entertainment. So a lot of people go there. Now, at the inn, at the Fu restaurant or the gathering spot, anyone can go there. You don't have to be staying at the resort, and you don't have to own at the resort. Right next door is one of the most fantastic amenities in watercolor, and it is called the Watercolor Beach Club. It has three huge swimming pools. They've just changed all of this, so it is gorgeous. Three huge swimming pools that are tiered down to the Gulf of Mexico. It also has a boardwalk that goes down to the beach. At the beach club, they have all kinds of restaurants. I can't even talk about all of them. There's so many restaurants. You can get burgers, you can get tacos, you can get all kinds of things to eat there. But it is exclusive only to owners and guests of watercolor. Now, also on the south side, you have a lot of retail spaces like clothing stores and things like that. As you cross 30A, then you're on the north side of Watercolor and it has a retail space as well with different shops, but it also has the Wine Bar Restaurant, which is a huge gathering place in Watercolor. They have a big patio with chairs and umbrellas, and you see people out there all day long and all evening long. They serve Italian food and pizza and fantastic selection of wine. Now, as you go back into the resort, you will find that the homes are absolutely gorgeous. They're very large homes. Most of them are very large. They have big, wide porches with overhangs. So it's a very inviting feel. A lot of people sitting on their porches, hanging out, people riding bicycles down the streets, riding golf carts down the streets. Then you have over on the western side of the northern part of Watercolor is the boathouse. The boathouse is where you can go and rent fishing gear, kayaks, paddle boards, and all of this is on the western dune lake. So it is a big, beautiful dune lake, and there's so much natural area and trails all through watercolor that go all around this lake. It is beautiful. The watercolor also has a big tennis center, so there's lots of tennis. Watercolor is right next door to Seaside, as I mentioned earlier. But what most people don't realize is there is a place that you can go through from watercolor to the back of Seaside on a bike or a trail. So you can walk or ride a bike through the back of watercolor to the back of Seaside, and there you are right in the middle of Seaside. Before we go any further, I have a trivia question for you, and I will tell you the answer at the end of the video. What is the very first thing the beach guys have to do when they set up the chairs at the beach? in the morning. There's one thing they have to do before they do anything else. So try to guess that. Leave a comment in the comment section below and I will tell you the answer at the end. 
So when we're talking about the amenities at watercolor, and one of the most popular amenities at watercolor is camp watercolor for kids. So camp watercolor is a really, really beautiful place. They've invested so much money and made so many improvements. There are three pools there. Two of the pools have water slides, and then one of the pools is a lazy river that goes around the entire kids club. And they have basketball, they have a playground, they have arts and crafts, they have everything that a kid would want to do at Camp Watercolor. Then if you go all the way to the east of Watercolor, you will cross over Highway 395. That is also where the Publix is, super convenient. Publix on 395. You cross over 395 and they built another section of Watercolor and that is called Watercolor Crossings and it has the Dragonfly Pool there. They have all kinds of festivities at Watercolor. They have wine festivals and they have farmer's markets. They have all kinds of uh, filmmaking. Uh, once a year, they have this huge filmmaking production. There is so much to do in Watercolor. It is unbelievable. And there are places to stay for everyone. So I told you about the big, beautiful homes, but they also have condominiums. They have two bedroom condominiums and they are all closer to the town center. So Watercolor is a fantastic resort, maybe one of my favorite resorts on 30A. It's definitely in the top three. So it's a great place for investors to buy short-term rentals because these places are booked endlessly. They're booked in the fall, they're booked in the winter, they're booked solid all summer. If you buy an investment home in watercolor, it will be rented and it will be a great return on your investment. The HOAs are very low compared to, say, a condominium. So it is a wonderful investment for investors of short-term rental. There are plenty of people who live in watercolor full-time as residents, so it is a great mix of all of that. Now, I told you that I would answer the trivia question at the end. So before the beach guys can go set up all those beautiful beach chairs with umbrellas that we all love to rent on the Gulf of Mexico at Watercolor, and for that matter, all down the entire coast, the very first thing they have to do before they set up those chairs is they have to call the Turtle Patrol. So there are people who go out every morning and walk the beaches to make sure that all the little turtle nests have not been disturbed or they, there are not any little turtles trying to cross to get to the water before they let any of the beach guys set up any of their chairs. Who knew? The beach guys, first thing they have to do is call the turtle patrol. So that is watercolor. If you're interested in seeing a property at watercolor or anywhere else for that matter, just give me a call or send me a text. I love to talk about real estate with you. Until next time, I hope to see you at the beach.